Greetings everyone and welcome to another KillerSites.com video tutorial. My name is Santo Romano and I'm going to be taking you through how to work with Photoshop CS6 specifically for the web. We'll be creating user interface designs and I'm going to be running through a number of techniques that will be very useful to you if you intend on creating your own website. As you can see, we're going to be putting together a real simple GUI graphic user interface like the one that we see right here. And we're going to be covering a number of topics specifically related to how we can use Photoshop CS6 to create the user interface that you see before you and also how to slice up these images and get them ready so that we can use them in a web-based environment. Now this is not a course that is dealing with every aspect of Photoshop. In fact, it's primarily focused on working with Photoshop for web preparation. However, if you're interested in a much more thorough look at Photoshop, I can direct you to KillerSites.com's Photoshop video. As you can see here, KillerSites.com offers a complete Photoshop course, specifically aimed at web designers, but it covers a lot more information than what we're dealing with in our video. Nevertheless, our video is going to be dealing with a lot of topics so that even if you are brand new to Photoshop, you'll be able to follow along as I'll be covering some of the Photoshop essentials and some of the basic tools that you'll need to be using. As well, we'll be learning how to deal with layer masks and other basics of layer structure. We'll be keeping things nice and neat and organized using groups and other methods. Also, we'll be talking about working with layer styles and how to create some really interesting icons like the ones that you see here. We'll be talking about working with some basic filters and how to work with some patterns. Also, I'll be dealing with simple color corrections and other ways that we can replace colors and get our images to look like they're more in keeping with our overall design. As well, we'll be looking at working with type and dealing with things like warping type, among others. Ultimately, I'll be telling you how to organize your pages so that if you had multiple pages that you're designing, you can keep them all in one document. And finally, once we've got a finished interface, we'll be slicing the images with transparencies and without so that we can get them ready for use in an HTML environment. So those are some of the topics that we'll be covering. So come on back in the next video and we'll get started. 